Hello everyone. Welcome back to Next Step Immigration. We hope you're doing great today. Did you know that the Australian government and a local state or territory government have a legal arrangement known as a Designated Area Migration Arrangement, DAMA? Employers in some locations are allowed to sponsor skilled and semi-skilled foreign employees for positions they are unable to fill locally under the DAMA. It is specifically designed to solve the present and escalating labor market shortages as well as regional employment terms and circumstances. There are currently 12 DAMA agreements in force in the following regions, Adelaide City, East Kimberley, Far North Queensland, Goulburn Valley, Great South Coast, Northern Territory, Orana, Pilbara, South Australia Regional, Southwest, the Goldfields, and Townsville. DAMA depends on the Temporary Skill Shortage Visa, Subclass 482, Labor Agreement Stream. Workers are given a Subclass 482 visa once sponsors and the Australian government have signed a labor contract. What are the key elements? 1. Routes for DAMA visa holders to get permanent residence. 2. A wide range of professions where there are shortages of both trained and semi-skilled workers. 3. English proficiency and pay distribution for specific professions. 4. A variety of risk and integrity measures to guarantee the protection of both employees and employers' rights. 5. Age adjustment. 6. A five-year contract, etc. Provision for adjustments. For each DAMA region, certain vocations may be subject to adjustments. These modifications might relate to pay, work experience, language requirements, etc. Proof of experience or qualifications. The visa applicant must show the same degree of training and experience as the sponsor if the occupation is on the Australian government's short-term skilled occupation list, medium-term strategic skills list, or regional occupation list. Although many have access to certain adjustments, it must be consistent with the regular temporary skill shortage visa, subclass 482, and employer nomination scheme, subclass 186, visa programs. However, a skill level 1 to 3 visa applicant who wishes to work in any DAMA occupation that is not included on the Australian government's list of short-term skilled occupations, long-term strategic skills, or regional occupations must 1. Ensure completion of a skills verification from the designated DAMA area. 2. Call for a skills evaluation from the appropriate skills evaluating body. 3. Adhere to ANZSCO's definition of skill level. 4. Possess the post-qualification experience outlined in each DAMA area's guidelines. The DAMA program does permit the nomination of specific and general skill level 4 jobs in certain of the seven DAMA zones stated. What are the requirements? Both the applicable DAMA agreements and the Department of Home Affairs have some policy standards. Some of these requirements include 1. The conditions for nomination and sponsorship in subclass 482, which are applicable to all three streams of subclass 482. 2. Make sure that the nominated occupation is included as an occupation, that the party to the labor agreement may nominate in the applicable labor agreement. The Department of Home Affairs must be convinced that any requirements stipulated in the labor agreement have been met, if those requirements are ones that the party to the labor agreement is required to meet, and 3. Fewer nominations must be granted for the nominated occupation than were authorized by the applicable labor agreement for the given year. Pathway to Permanent Residency Following acceptance of the subclass 482 visa and a certain period of employment under the subclass 482 visa, there may be a road to permanent residency under the subclass 186 scheme, pending fulfillment of the requirements and availability. That will be all in this video. Please share your opinions with us in the comments area. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enable the notification bell to receive updates on job and immigration news. Thanks for watching. Good luck.